Hello guys and welcome back to Horn and Tops. So you see in my wing mirrors, I've got pigs on board the animal trailer and we're just on our way out to the new pig farm. Come up through this way, this is completed now, this section of the map. It's getting there people, it is getting there. Hoping to get at least by Christmas. 50% of it done properly, completely. Triggers, markers, everything in. Fields, the old missions. Not every field's gonna have missions. I think I said that last time, but. Oh, uh, not much has changed around here. But we now got another. Uh, Uh, foliage layer in. Oh, I just stop here a second. So there you go, we've now got nettles and cow parsley in there. And we've also got our working gates. So the working gates will start going in in places now. You guys didn't see any further than the cow farm last time, so onwards and upwards here. And another grass field in there. Got quite a lot of grass around this area, hence the cows and everything over here. So this road up here. Nice wide pulling area in case you want to bring the lorry up. And welcome to Rasha's Pig Farm. This may look a little tight in here but you can get the lorry through. I tried it last night there. So, uh, open the gate there. So, hey. We've got access to a small field here, for straw, and a slurry point, we have a newer point, a couple of storage sheds. This place is not 100% completed right now, you can see the straw planes aren't when it shouldn't be. And we've got a couple of sheds from the in-game maps, a new water trough, a couple of little pig huts. And there's going to be a grass field out the back here. Uh, I've been working flat out for a couple of days just to try and get this ready for this video. So it's something like it, as I didn't have time at the beginning of the last week to carry on working on it. So let me see the triggers are in. Let's choose all of them. Confirm. Yes. And there you have it. There are your pigs. But that's going to be fixed. Good thing about doing all this little bit of testing, you actually see what's what with it. See what needs changing. So that's this area. It's not much else to show right now, I have put in the uh, railway part of it but there is no way to <coughs> change it to just pure logs right now, I've had a try change the files, you can, I think you can change the in-game train if you really want to but I'm not going to mess around with that because it means for this map everybody would have to so the log, the bit next to the big woods which is over in that corner over there, beyond them trees, then uh, there will be a grain loading point in the same place. And then there will be a grain station the other end of the track where you can offload everything, all your grains, and then your wood chips and your logs can be at the uh, sawmill. 
So it's not too bad. I just wanted to try and get as many 17 features in as I possibly could. Now, move on to something else I wanted to show you today. Yeah, the big M has made it into FS17. Yeah, it's a nice looking model. I mean, uh, you can get different ver two versions. This is the GTX 750. It's a bigger engine in it. Doesn't really need to be for the 500 horsepower engine anyway. So, but you can choose all these different uh, options. Yeah. And there it is. There, you can have different attaches and that two different horsepowers. You can choose your main colour. You can choose what colour rims you got. Uh, different wheel setups. And you can also add a light bar. So other than the textures on the bottom, I think they need to be changed to that worn out worn out kind of texture on the bottom like he had of 13 and 15 yeah, it's a good model PTL on the back so you can stick a baler on that then you swap it directly into uh, that if you wanted to so all your beacons working Good start up sounds of it. So uh let's bring up options for it. There you go all that. We got all wheel steering. Right. So you got Three different front, back, or all. I prefer it all, preferably. Uh, fold, lower, turn off. Now, there is a way to swap it or not do that, but I am not seeing it right now. Uh, and somebody else might figure that one out, but it's not kind of up in my menus for it. Well, there you go. The mod that was missing from the game, which I was surprised Giants didn't bring something like this through again. Yeah, they got licensed enough for Crone. But they didn't bring any of their mowers through this time. There may be an official one coming out soon. Who knows? Might be, might not be. But for the time being, I thought this would make a good, a good substitution. So, thank you guys for joining me, and uh, see you in next week's video.